I'm going to show you how to clean your HVLP gun. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Glenda Chavez and on my channel, you will find all kinds of DIY content. I've been getting quite a few questions on the spray gun that I use on some of my furniture flipping videos. So I thought that I would go ahead and take the time to show you guys my spray gun, my setup, how I clean it and answer a few other questions. Before we actually get started, I do want to say a little disclaimer. I am a DIYer. And through trial and error and research, I have found what works best for me. If you have any tips and tricks, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And also just keep in mind that I am not a trained professional. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, I just wanted to show you what my setup looks like. I use a 3 8 of an inch 100 foot hose followed by a 30 gallon compressor. Now you obviously don't need this big of a compressor or long hose. Now I just use that because I need it to reach all the way over to my carport so yeah that's it so let me show you guys how i clean it so the gun that i currently have is the husky hvop gravity fed spray gun and it comes in a two pack it's roughly about i believe 80 dollars super affordable it comes with a cleaning kit filters two large and two small paint cups it also comes with two actual guns so it's a super affordable price you get two for the price of one i feel like it's a great starter gun this is actually my first gun that i've ever owned and i feel like it is super easy user friendly and i've had absolutely no issues with it so so far i am loving it and it gets the job done The first step to cleaning my gun after spraying is taking the cup off and rinsing it underwater and scrubbing it with a brush. This brush doesn't happen to be a wire brush, but you can definitely use a wire brush if you like, making sure to remove all of the residual paint left. Next, I like to turn my gun upside down and let whatever paint is left inside the gun to just drip out. Once I feel like the majority of the paint has come out, then I actually reattach my cup and fill it with water. I turn both my pattern and fluid knobs all the way up to get the most flow through my gun. I run the entire cup of water by pressing the trigger and then I take a wire brush, refill my cup with water and scrub inside the gun. And I spray the remaining water and then repeat the wire brush refill water steps again. At this point, it is time to completely disassemble my gun. Once disassembled, I take my nozzle and my air cap and run them under the water until they're clean. I then set them inside a container full of paint thinner to soak for about 30 minutes. I remove my fluid knob completely, allowing the spring and the needle to come out and run them under the water as well. Then, just like the air cap and nozzle, I place them in the same paint thinner filled cup. I take my wire brush and run it through the gun with water removing any leftover paint and I immediately follow it with some mineral spirits or paint thinner. If I need to, I will get a paint thinner saturated q-tip and clean the inside as well.
All right, you guys, so that is how I clean my gun. I did wanna go ahead and answer a couple of other questions that some of you had. The first question was, what do I do with my spray gun in between coats? Do I clean it or do I let it sit? Now the answer to that is it depends on the paint that I'm using, honestly. If I'm using something like chalk paint or any other type of enamel paint that dries fairly quickly and I can recoat within an hour, then I do not clean my gun completely. The only thing that I do is clean the nozzle area where the paint actually sprays from just to make sure that the holes are completely clean and free of any paint. That's all I do. And then I let it sit on the side, hanging upright and just let it hang out there. And I try not to go past the one hour mark because it does start to dry out. And so I don't want to run into the issue of causing any clogs in my spray gun and have to regardless go back and clean it 100% and then go back to refilling it again. So if I'm using something like the Vaspar furniture paint, that one requires an eight hour dry time before actually being able to recope. It's the recommended time. I usually go by the recommended times on the product descriptions. And so for something like that, I go ahead and just clean it. I wait the eight to 10 hours and then I go ahead and I just do the whole process all over again. So no, you don't have to necessarily clean your gun with every type of paint. I would say if it requires more than an hour between coats, then yes, go ahead and clean it. But if it doesn't, then you don't have to clean it 100%. And I found that that has worked for me so far, so I'm going to continue using that method. The other question that I had received was, how do I dilute chalk paint for using a spray gun? I use a 10 to 20% dilution. Now, when I say 10 to 20%, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not actually measuring anything. So just a little bit at a time. The trick to this is to try to avoid diluting it with too much water or too much water too fast. So a little bit at a time, work it in. Make sure you completely work the water into the paint and make sure it's mixed thoroughly before you actually go and add more water so i hope that those answers were helpful to you i hope that this video was helpful to you if you did find it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up i will see you guys next week but until then you guys stay safe and be kind bye